Hi guys, I'm Mystix Audio Video Production. Today I want to introduce you this new pedal by Kathleen Brad. This is the clock. So this is the first pedal by Kathleen Brad I ever try out, and let me immediately say that this pedal is amazing. In fact, I can say that this is the best reverb pedal I ever try out. I know I always say this is the best reverb, this is the best reverb because as shimmer, you know I always love the shimmer sound, but this is the truth because this is really a great pedal. Why? Because the concept of this pedal is not only a reverb, it's also a reverb and delay with an early reflection because sounds really real. When you usually have a reverb sound, a real reverb sound on your room, on your giant space, um, there is not only the space sound, but there is also uh, the reflection, there are reflections, okay? And these reflections are taken into account in this pedal, and I really like how this pedal behaves. First of all, let me say that if you like this type of content, please consider to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about, uh, be sure to active always the bell notification to get always my update in real time. You can also follow me on Instagram where I'll be very fast to post, I post uh, uh, unboxing video, I already post the unboxing of this pedal, so you save, it's safe. okay, so <laughs> you can see how has been packed the pedal? Be sure to follow me on Instagram. We can also chat together on Instagram. But if you want to support more this channel, I have a buy me a coffee page linked down below, where basically you can uh, get access uh, to all my YouTube videos that I post here before they will be published here. And you can get also some cool high quality impulse responses, some presets for guitar and stuff like that. Really cool stuff for your rock and metal productions. And this will be really, really Really appreciate it for free huh so impulse response and guitar preset are for free if you are a member of buy me a coffee page so let's start introduce you this pedal first of all let's see the looking because looking is the first thing you can see when you see a new pedal the release of a new pedal and as you can see it's amazing this is a really piece of art I really like the cool design I really like also the size of this pedal because as you can see is really small compared to other normal pedal size. Let me grab a Dofix pedal. So this is a normal Dofix pedal. So it's the old concept of pedal. And as you can see, it's totally different. The size, I really like the small size. And for this reason, you can use more pedal in your pedal board. This is really cool. I really like also the feeling of the knobs and talking about the knobs, you have four main knobs and the foot switch for the bypass, uh, the room sides to change the sides from the short to very long sides. You cannot get really really short room sides. It's not too short but the really cool thing about the pedal is that all kind of settings, whatever kind of setting you place with this pedal, you can still use the pedal, you can still get really cool sound and usable. Um, the difference between this pedal and other reverb, other general pedals, is that with this pedal, with this cloak pedal, you can still use the pedal in whatever kind of setting. So even if you don't know what you're, what you're doing, you can get really usable because has been engineered in the way that you can still get pretty cool and not too weird sound out of these kind of settings. I really like this, um, this concept, so this thought from the engineers. Then you have of course the eye cut to cut the high frequencies and this will be very useful with the shimmer. Of course you have the shimmer which basically allows you to get um, an upper octave 
mixed with the normal uh, normal uh, tune with which that you are playing with your guitar then you have the mix knob of course to blend the di of your signal of your guitar of your amplifier with the uh, wet signal of this pedal so let's now listen how this pedal sounds let's start listening the room size knobs how it behaves so from the very short the the shortest room that you can get up to the all the way open uh, room size so very very long will be almost infinite I really like the sound of this pedal. As you can listen, the pedal has this reverb, really rich, really smooth reverb, and you can still listen also uh, just a bit of delay, uh, a ping pong, pam 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 pam, and this is the early reflection that I talked about before at the beginning. I like this uh, behavior because it's a real reverb, how a real reverb sound, really like. Let's listen now the the shimmer. So let's add some shimmer and let's listen how this upper octave behaves uh, together with the normal reverb.
so as you listen the shimmer is amazing i like shimmer and you can also uh, blend how much shimmer you want inside uh, together with uh, the room size so together with the normal reverb but as you heard the shimmer can be also just a bit too much intrusive and for this reason you have the eye cut this is really useful to cut the very too much high frequencies of the shimmer and get more smoother shimmer to mix to blend better with the room sides uh, let's listen how this high cut behaves <music> Okay, so you have also the mix knob and what I like about this mix knob, you can really use this pedal like an intro to have this sort of atmosphere in the background using the mix knob at 100%. So basically you can listen only the pedal, so 100% of the sound of the pedal uh, without the GI and this creates this atmosphere in the background. Really, really useful for intro uh, listening the guitar that it's coming through the mix. Okay guys, so I think this pedal is really really great, but let's talk about the pros and cons. So about the pros, you know, this sounds amazing. I think it's the best pedal I ever listened, the best real reverb sounding pedal. I really like. I really like also the design, like the work, but the main cons are two. So the first con is that you cannot read the name of the knobs are really really too small so i don't know why it has been written in this too small a size but yeah it, it's almost unreadable you have to keep in mind that you use this pedal during a concert with very very low light with flashing light on the stage and you cannot see uh, what is written on so it's it's a really problem in my opinion this and the other kind of cons for me is the foot switch because there is a click is not flexy 
I prefer Flexi. Foot switch is not really a cons, but it's my it's my taste. It's not hard because there are harder. Let me grab this. This is really hard. This is really really smooth, but it's not flexy. So for me, this is a cons, but could be also not a cons. So you have the link in the description, guys. This pedal is amazing. Link in the description. Let me know what you think about. Let me know if you like this pedal, if you own this pedal. So smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next time. Bye.